Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, April 12, 2016. Our discussion is going to be on the Lord. In Genesis, we know that the Lord created everything just by speaking it. Man sinned by listening to Satan, who went into a serpent. By listening to the serpent and not taking the responsibility for sin, uh, they, they ended up just being kicked out of the garden. God missed the fellowship with man, so he knew that he would send his son Jesus as the ultimate sacrifice for the penalty of sin. We know in Exodus the Israelites had a problem with trusting the Lord, even though the Lord rescued them from slavery and took care of them. In Kings and Chronicles, King David loved the Lord. He put his trust in him, and the Lord made him victorious over his enemies. His son Solomon and the generations that followed suffered again because of his sin. Gideon won battles because he trusted the Lord. In Isaiah, he received a vision and was able to predict the birth and death of Jesus Christ. In the book of Daniel, he put his complete trust in God and the Lord. His faith was tested in the lion's den. Other prophets predicted about the birth and death of Jesus. The gospel showed the complete fulfillment of God's plan of salvation. When Jesus taught in the temple and during his teaching, he confirmed that the prophets have been predicting and teaching about him. Now we know that Jesus is our Lord. He verbalized that he and God are the same. I am. And then there was, he mentioned this when he talked about Abraham. Before Abraham was, I am, and also that he loved David, King David. Jesus created us in his image and humbled himself, leaving his place of glory to become man. The Lord became the final blood lamb sacrifice for the penalty of sin. We need to believe that Jesus is our Lord and Savior. I want you to think about this today. Um, this is an interesting concept, and we do need to believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior. I want to thank you, and God bless.